Welcome biologists. In this session I'm going to talk to you about exam questions in water. Now this one is a really nice exam question for water. It even gives you a starting point and it tells you exactly what it wants. This is a really really nice one and we should be familiar with how this works as from the session we did on water and hydrogen bonding in water. We should have got something like this where I've got a dipole on every hydrogen and oxygen and I've labelled that hydrogen bond with a dashed line not a solid line. If it was a solid line that would represent a covalent bond and a hydrogen bond is not a covalent bond and we also need that statement that water is polar so a really simple diagram there to support my answer and describe what's going on now it's rarely that easy in the new specification from 2016 it's a lot more difficult such as this exam question here now in lower six you're not expected to know about nitrate ions you're not expected to know their formula you do meet it in upper six but at this point really you don't really know much about it now your teacher is not expected to teach you about all the different ions and how they form hydrogen bonds with water you need to apply what you know about hydrogen bonding in water to this unfamiliar context and this is very very common you, now you've been provided with a space here to draw a diagram and you, I highly advise you drawing a diagram to support what you're saying here. Very rarely can anyone describe this with enough or the, the right terminology to get full marks. So we should start off with our water because we know it's within water molecules and we should also be adding on our dipole charges. Now we know from the question that it's asking us about a nitrate ion. So I'm going to add that on there because NO3 is in the question there. There's not much to figure out. I'll just draw that on. Um, then it also tells me in the question this is a negative ion. So I've just added negative charge there near the oxygen, which I'm going to form this hydrogen bond between. And from hydrogen bonding in water, I know that a hydrogen bond forms between a slightly positive hydrogen of one molecule and a, and a negative oxygen or slightly negative oxygen of another molecule. So that's what's going on. I draw on my hydrogen bond then between where it's forming. And then my last marking point that I could possibly get here is for saying that water is polar. So if you add on basically what you know and figure it out from there, you should get full marks. Now all of that I got represented from a diagram. So there you are guys, good luck with your exams and all the best stuff. Get to use diagrams to support your answers in what you're saying. Good luck.